Hello and welcome to Calcrain TV's Executive Corner Expert Talks, another edition here for you today. And we'll be shining a light on Lab8, the venture firm that works with startups in bringing their products to the market. They co-invest with brilliant entrepreneurs and intrapreneurs looking to set up a stellar team, evolve their products and grow their business. So to take us through it all, today we're joined by none other than the managing partner of Lab8, Tom Griffith. Welcome to the show, Tom. It's great to have you with us. Thanks so much for having me, Holly. It's a pleasure to have you on. Now, first of all, I'd like to ask, in today's hyper-competitive business world, creating and growing a startup with a unique market image is extensively challenging. So how do venture builders aid these young businesses in such an environment? Absolutely. So venture builders provide um, the capital, uh, both financially, human capital, and advisory and experience. Essentially, venture builders are the perfect co-founders. For example, if you're the you're a technical co-founder with a brilliant idea, um, but not the commercial acumen, then we're able to, to match you and find you and build out a, a commercial team that can turn that idea to uh, into, into a $100 million idea. Equally, if you're a commercially minded co-founder, you've built a fantastic revenue model, got great contacts in the industry, but don't have the technical expertise um, to build out the product or indeed know how to hire a CTO. We're able then to build out a, a brilliant tech team and also um, operational team to ensure that, that that not only the revenue model reaches 100 million, but also the code is scalable to take that that idea from 10 users to 100,000. So that's very much the sort of a, the part that we play. We're able to really support that co-founder or that founder and really elevate them with a, with a great team around them of, of experts that, that are normally quite hard to get for in, in early stage stuff. That's incredible. It sounds like you're really able to uh, to get someone's other half there when it comes to business and bringing that business to light. Absolutely, yeah. And that's that's kind of what investors enjoy about working with venture builders. We really sort of de-risk that investment um, by matching the right people with that founder. So obviously they work great together as a team. But equally, like I said, it's the expertise as well uh, that are normally quite hard to get in early stage startups that we can provide them with the guidance and also obviously the follow on funding as well, which is what every startup needs. It's of course very important there, the, uh, the funding and expertise cannot ever uh, understate that, I think. And uh, you know, I understand as well that Lab8 has already launched about 10 programs in four continents. Could you share with us a bit about these programs? Of course, yeah. So that stands for our, our partnership with um, Startup Venture Builder, um, which is a fantastic uh, initiative. that has been going for sort of five or six years now. Um, and also for Lab8, we've, we've launched um, projects across across Africa. Um, for example, a company that comes to mind is, is Axo Health, um, which has been dubbed the Uber of Nurses, um, which is a fantastic initiative saying that you, you live overseas and your, your parents are, are in Lagos and they're looking for a nurse. You simply use the app as if you were to, to book an Uber, but you're booking a nurse for your parents. Um, with, with Startup Venture Builder, um, they've launched across um, MENA, uh, um, just finished a season with Sharuk Capital out in Dubai um, and have worked with you know extensive range of, of, of companies from, from all sorts of backgrounds. That's incredible. It sounds like you have a really uh, strong global presence there. Is that fair to say? Um, yes, certainly now that we've, we've, we've worked with, with Startup Venture Builder, that's certainly grown our global presence. Um, they've worked across North America, South America, Europe, and um, we're hoping to get into, into Australasia soon. But just finding the right people for that. Right. I mean, there is certainly a big market for, uh, for you to take advantage of here. That would be really good to see, I can imagine. Um, plenty of uh, business opportunity. Yes, certainly. Certainly. It's, uh, it's on our list of, of, of things to do. That's great to hear. And I understand as well that you do work with various teams to uh, help them solve some critical challenges like you just mentioned. And you do this following your innovation framework. Could you please elaborate on that for us? Of course. So that kind of goes back to the first question, really. Um, it's very much us creating that perfect team, that great team that can that can take that idea to the to the next level. It's allowing allowing a founder with a fantastic idea to be able to have the, the, a great team around them. Um, not only in terms of human capital, but also the advisory, um, the operation, and the consultancy that that venture builders can offer. Uh, it's being a part of it's being part of an ecosystem. It's very much a, a hands-on accelerator uh, type program. So we very much sort of work with work within within sort of what they're looking to achieve, um, and also making sure that you know we're we're hitting the the, the market goals that, that they're at there for. 
Right, and you know, I'd love to know as well. What sort of criteria do you use when you when you look at these uh these bright ideas that you speak of? What sort of makes it or breaks it for you? Of course, yeah. So uh, each program or cohort is run based on the investor seat. Um, for example, it could be、uh, an investor who is looking for a fintech based in Europe,、um, and that founder has industry experience. And then what we do is we go away, we go out and essentially hunt for these startups. Um, we put them through an extensive sort of due diligence program、um, before then presenting it back to the, the investor who, who then decides to, to invest in companies before they go through our through our program. So it is very much down to the investor thesis, and each program is tailor made to the investor. So we run sort of three cohorts a year, two to three cohorts a year, and that's backed by each individual investor, be that a syndicate,、um, a VC, a private equity firm, or, or a family office. Right. I mean, that's a, you know that's great to hear. It sounds like you do a lot of refining in there, as you just mentioned,、um, making sure that everyone's trained up to speed and and educated. I think to the best of their ability. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We、um, we very much stride ourselves on sort of creating quality deal flow for the investors, but equally giving the, the startups that come through our program, the founders, sort of the best springboard possible to, to get them out to market,、uh, and you know strive for trying to find the next unicorn. Terrific. You know, speaking of deals, I understand that you've partnered with Analytics Lab to support ventures with personalized programs. How does this partnership help Lab8 in expanding the business? Of course. So Analytics Lab、um, is essentially a data consultancy. We have、um, they have a 175、uh, data consultants across 32 countries,、um, all who have gone through an extensive vetting procedure of around sort of six hours worth of exams across logistical, mathematical application of their. Their speciality, and then a conversation like this, just to find out the type of person they are and how they work in a team.、Um, so very much that supports us in kind of the the data science front that that we're really pushing for at the moment. And as as you're aware, I'm sure plenty of your guests on your show talk about data all the time.、Um, but data talent is incredibly short. I believe last year in the US there are 120,000 data science vacancies for one film. So Analytics Lab provides quality con- uh, quality uh, contractors. All who have around sort of five, six years industry experience, and then have gone through the extensive vetting procedure. So essentially, they can be kind of parachuted in and help build out that, build out that code, build out those models. Sorry,、um, for for the startups to give them the the best、um, opportunities of, of succeeding at that. That's great to hear. You know, it sounds like you've got the best of the best on your team, especially with all that、uh, market saturation with those、uh, those data companies. But、um, sounds like you've、uh, really got a great partnership there. Yeah,、uh, we're very much, very much、um, happy to, to have that partnership, and looking forward to seeing how it how it matures in the couple of years. That's great to hear. You know, speaking of the future as well, what can we expect to、uh, see from Lab8 this year? Is there anything we can look forward to? More、uh, partnerships or global expansion, perhaps? Yeah, so we have just、uh, applications open next week, not this week,、um, with our、uh, with our spring cohort in in the UK, partnered with、um, Go10x. And run by Sam Kiesner.、Um, it's a syndicate based in the UK.、Uh, that that just opened this year.、Uh, very much looking at、uh, looking at exciting startups in the UK who are looking to lo- looking for their that that springboard that we that we spoke about.、Um, outside of that,、um, we're just about to close in on a on a deal in the US as well to have our first US cohort and hoping、wow. to to get that running in sort of August time. So yeah,、um, plenty 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 going on. We're hoping to run three cohorts this year. So probably one towards towards the end of fall as well, but very much at the moment, yeah. Our, our spring partnership、um, with GoTenX Ventures,、um, which launches on May,、uh, sorry March first, and we have an Ask Me Anything event on March the third. So any questions that you have,、um, please do feel free to, to to join the Zoom link and happy to answer. That's incredible, Tom. I mean, it sounds like you've really got your work cut out for you there this year. And a lot of exciting stuff going on too. So we definitely look forward to seeing all of that. Fantastic! Thanks so much, Holly. Thanks for joining us today on Executive Corner Expert Talks. It's been really great sitting down with you. Cheers! Thanks, Holly. Pleasure to have you on. Thanks for your time as well, viewers. If you've just joined us, that was Tom Griffith, your managing partner of Lab Eight. As we say here, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.